Hello, episode 7. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is episode 7 of Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir called Passion. And it was around a week since I last watched The Miraculous, but a lot of people have said that, oh man, Passion is like really, really good and all that. So I am a bit, how can we say, like, I have a little bit higher expectations of this. Especially since I think that season 5 has just been really good. I wouldn't say so far. There hasn't really been like a bad episode, I don't think. Like some people say they like episode 3 was bad. I don't think so. I thought it was just okay. It was the worst episode so far in episode in season 3. But I don't think it was bad and this is annoying me a bit. I have to fix it. There we go. It's like tickling my throat. Um. <coughs> but yeah. It's called Passion. <coughs> Are we gonna get more of like a... Oh god. Romantic subplot going on? I hope so, because... I mean, the last episode was, you know, Adrian actually confessing to Marinette that, you know what, I have feelings for you. So, hopefully, man, hopefully we get more of that because I actually really like that. And, like, oh god, after five seasons, finally they're starting to, you know, talk to each other. Um... Or whatever, but it's called passion. I mean, in my mind, that's all I can think of. But it doesn't have to be like romantic passion. It can be passion of anything, right? Like passion for fencing, you know, stuff like that. So I, I'm looking forward to this. And when I'm trying to think, like, okay, what miraculous, like what, which Kwame would fit into passion? And I have no idea. So let's see. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> well, I mean, you could be in love with more than one person. And Cat Noir and Adrian are the same person, so. Yeah. Oh, it seems like Tiki is on the side of Alia. With Tiki, you know, flying up like that. It was kind of like, you know what, I agree with Alia. Also, it wouldn't hurt, you know, Marinette. At least talk with Adrian and be like, you know what, let's try this out. You know, let's just try. Oh, God. He's like, oh god, are you blind? Oh, okay. So he's actually gonna go and ask her. And I also love this. That, you know, they're having a better... They will have a better, you know, relationship. Oh god, and she's panicking.
<laughs> oh god, Natalie. She's like, she she has anger for Gabriel, so she's kind of like, come on, Natalie. Uh, come on, Adrian, speak up. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Nice. We have some tension right there. <laughs> you just threw something on the ground. Okay, and they're like hiding. Oh. And. Nice, okay. So this is the, what I mean with the passion. It's the, the passion they have. <laughs> She's like, oh shit. Okay, so that's probably why he's also playing up, you know, like he probably means now everything because he's like oh god like i guess i am dying a bit so i have i want my son to have good memories of me and i actually like that scene of you know uh natalie just attacking uh Gabe gabriel yeah So I guess she started off as just a magic, a relic hunter. Uh, she was part of the, the expedition of those three. Okay, so they've known each other for quite a long time. <coughs> oh, and she has access to his phone. Was this her phone? So I wonder what their relationships were like. Natalie and his mom are there. I don't think they're sisters. Maybe they're adoptive sisters. Maybe they are cousins. Maybe they were just really good friends. I do not believe it was like a romantic thing. Wait, what? Okay, wait. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Oh god. Did she get cucked? Like NTR? Okay, maybe that is actually what happened. Okay. Hmm. It, oh God. Uh, because I'm thinking, you know, will ha will Gabriel fall for it? Like, and will she, N Natalie, end up going crazy? 
like she's gonna get the same opportunity as he did but I don't know maybe she won't take it Oh god He's like, no, I didn't declare. She stopped me before. He's like, God damn it. He's like, yes, I do. <clears throat> she becomes stupid. You know, she becomes a love drunk. And her IQ falls more than an actual drunk. So I guess have to go through the motions of being like a oh, monarch. Or maybe it is just a way to maybe like so that, you know, because now there are a bunch of people watching, you know, all the uh, the Kwamis. So maybe this is a way to, you know, like trick the Kwamis a bit in case someone else get control of them so they don't have the information. All right, the goats. <coughs> oh, it's a paintbrush, okay. I was like, what is that? All right, so she's a hunt, a crossbow. And she's like, oh man, I can finally move without my, my, ex uh, not exoskeleton, what would you call this? <coughs> she's like, god damn it. He got acumatized again. Nino. Oh, yeah, it's like, fuck, if I go to the Middle, a Middle Ages, I'll be killed. Well, I guess it depends where. If you're just in some random forest, you might survive until you probably die of dehydration. Oh yeah, and she won't be able to miss. Oh, uh, come on. Oh. Alright, oh, nice. She got hit. 
But that's the thing, you can only use Cataclysm once, and she could just keep shooting. So what I assume is is gonna happen is that he's gonna uh, decloak in front of her, but she's gonna be, you know, paralyzed. Oh, be careful so that her head doesn't, you know, hit one of the cars because... I mean, she might be paralyzed up, but I'm sure the damage she takes while in this paralyzed form, you know, will hurt. And you would not want her to get like a sprained neck, or even worse, if you get like a broken neck, then well, goodbye ladybug. Uh, if only you knew that she's in on it. <coughs> so I'm guessing for him, because he, I guess he had his suspicion during dinner. So he's probably going to think that what happened during dinner and that is what made her akumatized. <coughs> ah. Since they're tracked in on, yeah, in Cat Noir, not in you. Oh no, please, please. Remove the earrings. Oh, okay, and I guess he's going to respect her enough to where he's not gonna pay attention to who she is behind the mask. So now you're gonna become Lady. Oh, wait, what? Mr. Bug, there we go. And she's gonna become a Cat Lady or whatever. Cat Girl. Hmm. Like it needs the balance. All right. I mean, Plague almost had a heart attack right there. Okay, your hair is a little bit too long, Marinette. It's dragging in the sewers. You might want to just hold it while you're down there. <coughs> well, probably gonna bite you in the ass. Okay, so it was just a mirage, okay. I thought she shot that thing and it hit Nino and then he became that guy. But no, it was just fake, so it tricked me. I mean, I really like her outfit. I think he looks fine. But she looks really, really good in that. <laughs> oh god, we need to find the actual thing. Well, most of the things 
involving magic seem to be. <laughs> well, you are missing. Oh my god. All right. Oh, that's not the thing. Well, that you know of. <laughs> well, you know, let me use my lucky charm. Like, oh yeah, my lucky charm is telling me it's over there, of course. <coughs> uh, yeah, sure it does. Yeah, because are you about to deacumatize? Because you did use cataclysm. So how 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 long do you have left? <laughs> All right. Oh no, the outfit is not there. Ah, it's the actual mannequin. Okay. I thought it was an actual outfit. What is this? <laughs> All right, Mister Bug. Yeah, like some people explained to me, like. Like we can't fix. Like, oh god, I'm about to deacumatize. I need to go. And he's, is he gonna be like, you know what? He's right. We shouldn't use you anymore. <laughs> like, ah, oh, the power of the cat makes just makes you, you know, tell all these jokes. So yeah, this is a really good episode. I'm actually really liking it. We're getting a lot of information from like the main art, like the important characters. Uh, if you say so. I am Tiki knows the truth, so Okay. Uh, a good hug. Hmm. If she managed to, you know, get her wish come through, is she going to do it? Because it kind of like, oh god. So maybe, 
what's going to happen because for me I always thought that ah like what is going to happen is that Monarch or Gabriel is gonna make his wish and then what happens he does get his wife out from a coma but Adrian goes into a coma instead you know for something to heal something has to you know it's the balance but now I'm like oh, maybe it isn't actually Gabriel who's gonna do it it's gonna be her She's gonna have the opportunity to, but no, I think they will. I actually think the show is gonna have the balls with how episode season five is going. That she's gonna make that wish. Um, maybe she's gonna word it away, whatever. She's like, uh, you know what? I'm gonna word it in a way, you know, because I'm not like you, Gabriel. I'm not gonna make the same mistakes, blah blah blah. But then, what happens? Adrian becomes gets into a coma, and then, um, oh God, what was the name of his? What is the name of Adrian's mom? Emily. I want to say Emily, but they just said it in this episode. But I completely forgot. Let's just call her Adrian's mom. Let's just call her mom. Uh, that mom is gonna come out of coma, and then she's gonna see like. God, what did you do, Natalie? You know, and then Natalie's gonna get like these emotions, whatever. Yeah, like for me, I always saw that. Okay, Natalie is probably either just a cousin of Adrian's mom, or what I actually thought is that she was like a childhood friend or like a good, really good friend with Emily, and that's why she's helping Gabriel out. But she did say a line that I'm forgetting now, but it made me think like, wait a minute, maybe there's something more. Maybe she had some romantic feelings towards um, Emily. And then, you know, like in her mind, she kind of like got cucked to NTR by Gabriel. And she's seeing, you know, like these things in in Adrian that's why she like really want to protect Adrian because you know it is the son of the person that she had some romantic feelings towards um I will see but I actually really liked how this advanced um uh, pretty much all the relations of Na Na Natalie you know with we got to see what I really want to see, the continuation of Gabriel not saving, not stopping Emily from using that miraculous, which did make it so that she's still in a coma and is making Natalie sick. So I liked seeing that, you know, she hasn't forgiven him. It doesn't seem that she will forgive him. She's fucking pissed. She's angry. But like, she's like, yeah, Gabriel, you're a lost cause. All right. Now I'm going to do my secret plan that I'm not gonna tell you because I'm the one who's gonna make the wish I'm the one who's gonna fix things now because you have already proven Gabriel that you will not do it uh, so that is good and um, what else and I do think it's gonna backfire yeah, so I don't know, like, it feels in how things are going, like, yeah, maybe season 5 will actually be the last season with, you know, Marinette and Gabriel not, and Adrian and all that stuff. And then maybe, like, I hope so, uh, because I want their story to be done. Um, and it really seems like they're, you know, fix, like, closing the loop, whatever. They're actually making a good story. Like, a good story always has an end. And it seems like we're going there. Uh, but to me, it isn't just like, oh god, finally it has to end. No, I think they're doing a really, really good job. Yeah, which is good. Uh, because I will say that this show overall has been like, like a 5 or a 6 out of 9. Like, overall. Um, it's not like super amazing, but it's not bad. Uh, but... I do think that season 5 has been like really good. Like I would probably rate season 5 so far 
Uh, it's only been seven episodes, of course, but I would say maybe like a seven, maybe even an eight out of nine. Um, yeah. Also, you know, Adrian, the whole thing about, you know, him respecting, you know, like he's not going to look at see who Ladybug is, even though, man, I would want him to do so, but if he saw that Ladybug was Marinette in that point... How would he, like, he probably would have failed in, you know, uh, fixing everything at the end. Because I think that would have been too much of a shock for him. Um. What else? And I liked how Natalie reacted when, you know, um, Adrian said those things to her there at the end. And I really liked, you know, that hug between them. That is good. I was not expecting that Adrian would, because I do truly believe what he said there at the end, that he would blame himself for her being a kumatest. I thought that he would have thought, I thought that he would have thought, and was, that, uh, that sounds like weird. That he thought that, oh, okay, there's something going on between my dad and you. And that is what made you akumatized. But no, he thought that I, because he mentioned, you know, her illness. And that it is similar to how it was with his mom. Um, but she, you know, reassured him that, no, it, you know, it's not. Don't worry at all. Which I don't think is going to work. I think he's going to continue worrying. Uh Yeah. And wait, is that... Hmm, maybe that is what's going to make them give up the Ladybug Miraculous and a Cat Miraculous. Like Adrian or Marinette. Maybe at the end. And they're going to give it them up to like two new Miraculous holders. Because they want to be together. Oh god, is that maybe what's going to happen? They're going to find out who each other are and they're like, okay... Now when we know who we are, I think it maybe not the safest for us to be the Miraculous Holders anymore. And then they're going to give it up to someone else who are then going to pick up the torch. Uh, because, I mean, the actual qualm is, especially Plague actually, was like super like paranoid about them figuring out. While Tiki is a bit more like, eh, you know what, don't worry about it. My Miraculous Holder, like, when she gets love drunk, she's, you know, her ability to think goes out of the window. So I don't think she will ever figure out who Cat Noir is, but... Yeah. Thank you for watching, and what did you think of this episode like? There's probably a ton that I've missed saying, because I know... There's like a fuck ton more things that I want to talk about, but uh, they're not in my mind at the moment.